Happy Emancipation Day to all. This day culminates two weeks of heritage activities, but also signals the beginning of what we'd want to call Heritage Month. We want to call August Emancipation Month, rather. We want to ask you to use this month to reflect on issues of emancipation within your communities, within the island of Tobago, and within the, the Twin Island Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. We are all familiar with the emancipation story, the chattel slavery endured by our four parents, and the ways in which our four parents dealt with this atrocity. The story is the same. Some jumped overboard. Some people sabotaged the plantation. Some people ran away. But the important thing is that our ancestors did something about the situation. And so I want to ask all of us, regardless of whichever emancipation issue that may arise within our lives or within our community or within our country, that the issue really is that we should do something about it. Because our foreparents ensured that they preserve the traditions, the Salaka feasts, the real dance, the culinary skills, the everything that we have now that we are able to use to identify ourselves in one way or the other was meant to be and this is one way in which they dealt with the oppression. So we at the Tobago Heritage Festival Committee wants to tell you that this year we have the Tobago Heritage Experience, a little different from what obtained last year, where today signaled the end of the Heritage Festival. Of course, today, as I said, signals the beginning of the Heritage Experience. And we have other activities coming up in Emancipation Month. We have activities in September, we have activities in October, right up to November, and of course, December is Christmas time. As soon as Sunday, we have youth explosion, which again is an attempt to give the youth their own space in the whole heritage scenario. Next week, on the 9th, we join the St. Patrick Anglican Church to celebrate the ancestral walk, another heritage event. And then we have on Sunday the 10th, the Heritage Food Fair. On the 30th of, of August, we have the Buku Experience, which, in, which features the night market the, and also the goat races. And we continue, as I said, throughout the year. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you, I want to ask you, in this month of emancipation time, to use it to deal with all matters and issues of oppression. Have your own little cook, your own little eat and drink, invite your friends, have your own little ceremonies, but remember, and emancipation is something that all of us should be mindful of and should, should ensure that we celebrate. Enjoy today, enjoy the cultural performances, and enjoy your Emancipation Day. And I say again, happy Emancipation, and I thank you. Today is twofold from my perspective, where we not only celebrate Emancipation Day, but we're also showing appreciation for the last two weeks of activities that we have had on the island that we bring to a close today, that two-week festival, but it's also the, on the eve of the year-round experience. And therefore, I would like to begin by recognizing and thanking persons who would have been involved in all of the hard work in putting on the festival throughout the communities of Tobago. And so I start by saying thank you to the Tobago Festival Commission, Ms. Mitchell and the commissioners, the manager, Mr. Powder, the Heritage Committee led by Mr. Wendell Berkeley. And I want you to please give them a round of applause. Of course, we could not have had a successful uh, two weeks without the involvement of the villages and communi community groups. And I really want to commend them for the quality of the performances that we would have seen this year. Of course, you know, we will always have a, a, a briefings, a post-briefing session and see where we could improve and get better. But I think this year, they really deserve a round of applause. And I say thank you. Many of them have continued to be a part of us for the last 27 years. 
And I really want to say on behalf of Tobago, thank you. Without your participation, this festival cannot be. I want to also thank the administrator and staff in the Division of Community Development and Culture. Because coming out of last year's uh, festival, we would have identified some areas and therefore would have launched some training programs to support this festival. And so we would have done that. We would have also held a conference to, to have a further discussion on where do we take the festival from here. We are able to do that. And of course, the young people you just saw on stage, we were able to recruit them into the, into the new initiative of the Youth in Culture program. And therefore, this evening's event, we want to thank the young people, the 14 young people that you saw here, who were gently guided by the coordinators, Miss Jackie Dillon, Miss Patrice Caruth, Ms. Karen Berkeley, but I assure you that the youth planned and executed this 95% of the way, and we really ought to give them a rousing round of applause for their hard work. I also want to thank all of the young people who throughout this festival this year have come out in large numbers to participate. And it demonstrates to us that you are really re ready to own the culture and you, you, you are ready to take on the responsibility for taking it forward. And that is certainly very important in our present preservation and the way forward. And so when it comes to emancipation, I say that we are here recognizing the and appreciating the struggles of our ancestors in their walk to freedom. But while we continue to reflect and respect their journey, we must appreciate that the journey is not over. And I like to say that every generation has to define its new freedom. And therefore, where they would afford to be free, they also had to, to fight to become educated. They, where they would afford to become educated, they had to fight for equal education, and then the right to vote, and the right to own. And therefore, I want to leave you with some questions as to you should be asking yourselves, what right are you going to fight for so that our future generations can turn around and thank us for standing on our shoulders? And these are questions as we appreciate and respect what our ancestors did for us, we have to ask ourselves, what are we prepared to do for the future generation? I have been to very many of these sessions, these Emancipation Day celebrations. And I say, without any fear of contradiction, that this one was different and it was better. And I want to congratulate all the organizers for one of the most interactive, one of the most energetic, one of the most informative, and of course, one of the most collaborated, collaborative Emancipation Day session that we have ever had. And I want to congratulate, and I think we must all join in congratulating the organizers for doing it better than it has ever been done before. And I think what was particularly impressive was the blend. You had a blend of different aspects of the culture portrayed in a very, very authentic manner. You had a blend of the different expressions. You had a blend of the different communities. But most importantly, you had a blend of young people and not so young people getting together to really show us what emancipation and what Tobago's version of emancipation is all about. 
And as I reflected on what has transpired today, it convinced me of the power of the emancipation celebration and the emancipation vision and the emancipation message if it is properly understood and properly harnessed. Because I want to tell you, brothers and sisters, that emancipation is about pain and suffering. But emancipation is also about resilience and fortitude. And most importantly, it's also about victory and celebration. And it is in that context that I want us all as Tobagonians, as citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, as we think about emancipation, that we must remember the pain, but we must not stay in the pain. After 18 decades of freedom, are we dis displaying the self-reliance, the discipline, the work ethic, the ambition and the commitment to achieving that ambition, that quali those qualities that are indicative of a truly emancipated pe people. I say to us, therefore, let us celebrate, let us enjoy, but let us also reflect. This has been a glorious, exciting, inspiring day, and we should all revel in it. But I want, as I end, to caution all of us and to admonish all of us. Let us, after today, use today's lesson, use today's message, use today's symbols coming from the young people and the not-so-young people use all of that to ensure that we use the lessons of the past to inspire us to live as a people who are truly emancipated in the widest possible meaning of emancipation. And if we do that, this Emancipation Day celebration will not be just a celebration, it will be an inspiration, and of course, it will ensure that it is a catalyst for all of us to do what is necessary to guarantee that we, in fact, pay tribute to our ancestors in the best possible way. Thank you very much.
Sí. He said, thank you, Tobago. Thank you. Konnichi. All the men, all the ladies, thank you so much to invite us here. We came straight from Africa. We are glad to be here today. This emancipation. Thank you so much. God bless you.
Thank you. Salif Sanu, master, flute, faller, and back home, we call this instrument fling. I want to hear everybody say fling. Fling. I know a lot of people say flute. That's a master in Burkina Faso, West Africa. I know a lot of people never heard about Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is a West Africa, mainly like center of West Africa. We have like Ghana, Togo, Benin, Africa's Mali, but the booking is really the center of Africa. Thank you so much. God bless you. And Che! Yes!
Put it together! Yes, sir!
If I was to sell black on the black market, what would it entail? A legacy of subjugation, revolutionary liberation, misogynistic denigration, perpetual incarceration, or black commodification. I would publicize black on sale like a Black Friday sale as they flock to acquire the black prize with their fixated eyes, shouting at the top of their lungs, I want those big black strong ones, mandingo size. Don't be surprised as black was despised through Eurocentric eyes, coarse and ships taken on trips branded with whips, sold and forcibly given scripts. As black performed and became racialized, criminalized, barbaric, and uncivilized, as attempts were made to vasectomize black understanding, breeding institutionalized robots that were intellectually circumcised or rather circumscribed not to think outside the black box. As nations were built on the backbone of black bone with black drones who toiled as black clones from sunrise to sunset. Mediation brought segregation as black met its demise by noose or musket. Black, that mysterious austere figure. Black, that black widow spider only line of defense was to inject venom of a radical sense. Which caused widespread symptoms of white paralysis, self-determination and black independence. It was black basic right to have light but was denied a right based on pure malice and spite. This caused the light to go out. There was a black out. Failure from electrical transmission tower, black needed light, so it generated black power. As black was discriminated and marginalized in the workplace, unwanted like black heads and a white face, the concrete jungle became the rival space as black competed for survival in the rats race. As black slides down, goes wrong and wrong, dropping to the ground, giving a new meaning to black hawk, down. Come on, black, with your cool lips, caricature hips, and minstrel tits. You have to earn this money. Bend down and pick up these tips. As black fired, let it dart, killing black hearts, revealing a bloody spade. In a black suit that is ceremoniously worn to the grave. The system blackmailed the black male to fall in the black hole of black jail as black Jack was 21. Still busted and denied bail. Let the truth be told to what has unfold as midnight robbers are so daring and bold, pretending to have the cure for the common cold, but instead invading places for black gold. As black locks were first ostracized, then subsequently commercialized, causing the sterilization of black ideology, a popular lost dogma which became fashionable anthropology. Black freezes, crashes, and cuts off, random reboots and data loss. Black has become blacklisted technology. As processed food ruled the world, no time for picking black berry. As black brought in family and spouse to rewrite the history on the black boards of the house, rehabilitated and cleaned up the crack house, yet the exterior still remains a white house. The next piece I do for you. Is entitled A Vagrant's Plight. It just shows that everyone is equal, no matter what class, status, or race. Oh, lo mi oh, baba shike.
Dream I was in Africa And I was a warrior Hunting lions and tigers Brave like my forefathers And when the darkness gathered We sat around the fire Talking for the bravery and courage of our brave ancestors and the chanting Kumbaya ya oh 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 Kumbaya ya oh 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 Kumbaya ya oh 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 Dreaming of Africa The land of my ancestors Surround me, food and wealth in a quantity. If I was to go back to Africa, then I will be a great hunter. Running, swimming, climbing, or on the fire dancing, women washing and singing. You can hear their voices echoing the wind as they chanting. Kumbaya ya o, oh oh oh, Kumbaya ya o, oh oh oh, Kumbaya ya o, oh oh oh, of Africa, the land of my ancestors.
attitude where you have? Eh? What tell about the attitude? Nothing, ma. Mommy, you don't like Silas. You know, you know Silas are come here for. What are you telling me you don't like Silas? You don't like somebody who wanted you? Eh? You want to be down the road with that dirty skin, sir? Who don't come from no good pedigree? Eh? That is what you want? Mommy, they want a pedigree is pedigree. Don't correct me. Don't correct me. Go and get yourself ready for when Silas come. Yes, ma. All right. I will listen for you. Eh? All yes, right. Yes, ma. If she think he's so good, make sure you not take him. Mummy must give. We don't like. We don't like him. Hello, darling. What you crying for? Oh, oh hello, she... darling. Yeah. Jolly, go closer now. Me look like a your darling. Anyway, you go, my cup. Let me wipe the tears from your Not face. Me. If you only touch me, I'll go one box man. You know? Only touch me, and you will see. Darling, you know I love you. Love yourself. I have intention. Me not get none. I want to marry you. So I come to chew my bread in the waters. Me hope when you chew your bread in the water, board, yeah, ma'am. Let me. Darling, no go on, son. Let me, eh? If me not get you now, I will get you tomorrow. But I have great intention. You think I left you alone? Me intention is great too. Me intention is for you to leave me alone. Let me alone. Don't come back here and bother me. Girl, yeah, I rather my belly bus than good food waste. Well, that food I go for waste tomorrow. Man, yes, ma. Why are you talking to Silas like that? Ma, I never talk to him no how, ma. Me not tell the daddy man you are for married. Ma, you didn't tell me that, ma, ma. I didn't I did think, I did, I did think it's a joke you're making. It look as though I make joke, Anne. No, ma. How much time me tell you when he said tell you? Yes, you yes, do what you have to do. You do what you have to do. No, keep no noise. No cry. No, no, ma. No cry. No, ma. All right, sit down there. Yes, yes, sit ma. down there. Yes, Remember me talk to you. Yes, ma. Remember you have to marry Silas. Yes, ma. You have to take shame out of we are. Remember your papa not married me. Yes, ma. All right, good. Ma, come back just now. <laughs> Look at me, daddy. No, hey, hey, she me. Like me. I haven't married anybody. She was, but she can't be shy. Me don't like me. Why that? Yes. Yes. Me yes. Yes. Me no. Oh, me don't know what to do. Hi, sir. Hi. Sir, you know I miss you. I miss you more than you miss oh, me. Oh, God, tell me you love me now. Why are you treating me like that? Treating you how? You ain't coming and look for me. But look how looking for you now. But look how long you come and you take to come and look for me, Za. All right, all right. I hear. Let me make use of the time. Za, I want you to marry me now. Married? Yes. I always tell I will marry you, but not now. I want to marry now, yeah. Za. Hear what? I don't have no house. I don't have no. I got married you when I, when I build my house. You got married me? Yes, I got married you. All right, don't take too long, you know. I'm missing you, know, sir. You know, I just come at my own time. All right. All right. Here, well, yeah. I have to go down the road, right? I go see you. You going down the road now? Yes, you know, I, I, I always busy. All right, don't take too long, you here. All right. Okay. Serene! Serene! Yes, Marcy! Hey, hey, you the home? Yes. Now you may come to me, come for see my girlfriend. Me just don't get a cocktail, she said, don't get a cry. My wife back and come back. <laughs> Anne? Yes, Marcy? Where are you from? She mommy want me to marry her. Marry who? <laughs> Silas. I lost. You see condition? Eh, <laughs> but that they're not good for you. You know he fool. He fool mommy and tell mommy how oh, he get five cow and three sheep and a pig and she can't clear and say he rich. He no get nothing. Me no, he no get nothing. He what is that kind of daddy? Zach, after you, he, he get the wealth. You, you see Zach down the road? Eh. Eh? Who and he? He and the girlfriend, oh. 
What that a worry. Ugly walk. This guy where he get there. Me don't know make him not like me, you know. He go like you. He go, me know, me have to do something for get him. Oh, you want me to tell you what to do? Tell me what to do. All right. Hope your mama not listen, you know. She not listen. Tell me what to do. You know for do this sweat rice? Me know. What do you mean for sweat rice? Oh, me go put the rice in the sun and sweat up. Wait, I'm here to tell you what to do. Oh, well, tell me what to do, girl. You see when you boil the rice? Eh. Uh -huh. And it, you take them off the fire? Eh. Uh -huh. With all the steam? Eh. Uh -huh. You have to go over her. You mean you have to stand up over her? Uh, yes. But he go burn me? At that time, let him walk. So if he burn me, now walk? No. <laughs> the water? I go go down in the rice? Eh. Uh -huh. Well, that are the sweat. And you know? I give you some tea. Eh. You see this? Eh. Yes, in a... This? Eh. I feel married for you, married him. Oh, gosh! That I what you call married me now. Oh, gosh! So when we done, me sweat the rice? Yes! So, throw this in the rice? Or yes. have this for drink? No! Throw it in the rice? Sure, three drops in the rice. All right, three and drops. And you go store up. Eh. Right. And right. get to a glass of marble behind that. All right. It cook, cook, cook. All right. Thanks, eh? All right. You see, you are the best friend, Miguel. You always are giving me good advice. You know? Yes, eh? Yes, girl. All right. Well, Miguel, you know. All right. I hope she knows me. I'm going to cook the food now. Go quick. All right. All right. Remember when me tell you food, do you know? I'm not going to remember. Right. Ooh. She said, let me cook the food. Me go cook up some saltfish and rice. Ooh, some saltfish and rice. And when you see me done, you have to fix some up. Nice. Well, let a boil, let a rice they come to a boil. Me go nowhere for do. Put in a little salt fish and we go season them up there nice there. Mm-hmm. It look like I'm ready. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. So go over around and do me thing. Oh! Oh! The fire burned me. Let me try them again. Let me try them again. Oh! Wait, you come in, you come in, you come in. Oh! 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 Hey, get down here. Oh! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. Oh! Eh, eh. Oh! Mm -hmm. And three drops, she said. Let me put three drops. Hey, hat. Ooh. Ooh. Put them on the table, yeah? Get to a nice glass of marble. Nice. Now go down the road, go look for him. If he feed the way he lying, that food you have to eat. Mommy, that's my favorite. 
Right? Sit down and eat. Ah. An aunt could well cook, you know. An aunt could call her Yes. You see when we get intention? Aye, aye, aye. She must expect you was coming now. And me, the marble look like a homemade marble. Yes, that. You, you see all the fraud on top? Yes. A good marble that. Yeah, me know. Me tell you, Anne does do good thing. You got to get a good ah. wife in Anne. Mm -hmm. Me agree with you. <laughs> me leave you and go back and come back, right? Uh, you could go ahead. Yeah. You have fixed my business here. <laughs> she kept cooking her. Oh, God, oh. Silence. I will open your door, Mina. Yes, Annie. So what are we going to do about it? Like we are custom doing. <laughs> but, but that, me and you going out for so long. Sister, we married. You see? You could spoil a good moment, you know? I don't want to spoil a good moment. I just want to spend the rest of my life with you. Yeah, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, but... Now we get married. But what? But what? But what? I tell her I got married you, but I don't have no house. You see? What do you mean you don't get no house? Well, build a house for the piece of land where your parents and them do you know? No, no, no. They say when they're dead, they're gonna leave the house for me. So be do you wait till they're dead? What if they live till 200? Well, we get enough time to plan the wedding. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, what me gonna leave her alone for now? But you know me, you my thing with you, and me cook one nice saltish for cup with rice. Me leave on the food, you know, and me say you go eat them when you come. You know the key to my heart, eh? Yeah. So you go by me. Yeah. And you go eat the food, right? I will. You eat all the food. All the food is for you. I can't come inside. You know, you know, mommy don't like me already, eh? All right. I stay outside. Yes, wait right there. All right. Right? Stay right there.
All pirates, yes, they're our by Sold I to the merchant ship Minutes after they took I From the bottomless pit But my hands are made strong By the hand of the Almighty We fought in this generation Triumphantly, won't you help me sing these sounds of freedom? It's all I ever had. Redemption song, redemption song. Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our mind. Have no fear of atomic energy, cause none of them can stop the time. How long shall they kill all my prophets? While we stand aside and look, oh, some say we're just a part of it. We've got to fulfill the book. Why don't you help me sing? Yes. Sing, guys. These sounds of freedom, it's all I ever had. Redemption song. Redemption song. These sounds of freedom. Sounds of freedom. Oh, na na, oh, na na. Oh, na na, oh, na na. Oh, na na, oh, na na. Why don't you emancipate yourselves from mental slavery? Not, but ourselves can free our mind. Have no fear of atomic energy. Cause none of them can stop the time How long shall they kill all my prophets While we stand aside and look Oh, some say we're just a part of it We've got to fulfill the book Won't you help me sing Another sound of freedom it's all I ever had. Redemption song. Redemption song. Yes. These sounds of freedom. Sounds of freedom. Oh, na na, oh, na na. Oh, na na, oh, na na. To sing hymns, redemption songs. Thank you so much.